Fiona O'Loughlin. Oh, thanks. This is fun. And I'm having a sort of tough time um, this year. Well, I'm turning 40 this year, and I I'm mostly okay with it. I've just noticed something about turning 40. <laughs> I'm starting to wear some extraordinary underwear. You remember when your mum hit about 40? And it's just, you know, the beige pant, I call it. It's, um, it's just something that sucks your guts in, really. And I could exercise, but that's time consuming. This way, <laughs> I get to keep drinking. And um, but I remember your mum got to about 40 and she was wearing these things. And then she got to about 45 and she upped the ante a bit. And the, the pants came all the way to here. And she, I think it was about 50, where they had some legs in them, little legs. <laughs> I remember thinking, geez, the fat's got to go somewhere. <laughs> She's 63 this year. She wears a beige wetsuit under, <laughs> under every outfit. I need to get embarrassing like her because I've got teenagers now as well. And um, that's scary, having teenagers. Um, I've got five of them, but the two oldest are teenagers now. And well, the oldest one is really weird. He, he's a nerd. <laughs> Oh, don't get me wrong, he's a lovely kid. <laughs> Just not my cup of tea. Um, <laughs> no, he's obsessed with conservative politics, you know, that's his thing. And um, last year I actually volunteered to be his drama teacher at school, not his personal drama teacher, but, you know, they needed a drama teacher and I was filling in. And um, he got the shock of his life. He said to me, Mum, are you really going to be my drama teacher? And I said, yeah, for two weeks, I'm your drama teacher. And he goes, well, what am I going to call you? And I said, well, you play chess at lunchtime and you've got a really big picture of John Howard in your bedroom. You don't call me anything. <laughs> I don't want all the other kids finding out I'm your mum. Oh, you have to take a stand with teenagers. We've got this other teenager, she's very scary. Uh, it, well, she's appalled at me and she watches me smoke and she's like this, I'm never going to smoke when I grow up. What can you say to that? You know, I'm like, well, you won't be very cool then, will you? <laughs> My show's on at the town hall. Um, every night at the comedy festival except Monday nights and well it's just that one of my kids needs an operation and <laughs> and if you don't buy tickets he could die <laughs> thank you very much